I did a television show where I was in the Arctic years ago. It was, Lenny, Lenny Henry was, in, was, was, was up the Amazon and Joanna Lumley was on her desert island. I got the Arctic, they get fucking first choice. <laughs> and I was camping out in the snow and they used to drop me off in the morning. They, well, they dropped me off there and I was camping in the snow and they would come in the morning to see, incidentally, huskies fart like you've <laughs> never fucking, oh my God. They eat seal, mate. They, they, they live in the snow and they eat frozen seal all day and they can't hardly move. Then they go, right, everybody here, get them all chained up. Here we go, they're all running. <laughs> seal fart, oh God. And they would, and the, babe, the television people would come and check up on me. We were a couple of miles from the magnetic North Pole, and I, and I, and I had to make a, an igloo, and I made a right arse of it. And, and they gave me a quite, a quite clever thing to make an igloo. You can't just fucking have a go, you know. And I did, and it fell down. But they, they gave me a, a video camera to, to look at interesting things. Now, I, I think if you're David Attenborough, there's plenty of interesting things to see. But if you're me, there's a lot of fucking snow and pretty much nothing else. <laughs> and I would say, this place abounds with wildlife. Unfortunately, they're all white. <laughs> so, so I'm scooting my boot with us and they would come and see me in the morning and, they were getting, and I was getting smellier and smellier and I was becoming very odd and strange. After about 10 days, because I was wearing a, a, a seal skin suit that this Eskimo woman made for me, and the smell, it was uncured, and a seal skin smells like half fish, half meat. It was peculiar, but you get, you get to like it. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a musk ox ground sheet uncured. It smelled like dog shit. So, <laughs> And then I didn't wash for all those days, so I was pretty high. And they would come up to see me in the morning to see if I was still alive. They'd come up and they'd go like, morning, fucking wall, hello. And I had a gun to watch out for polar bears. And I'll tell you this, you may or may not believe this. It's no business of mine whether you believe it or not. Polar bears. Do you know when a polar bear is sneaking up on you, he does that? <laughs> Because he knows his nose is black. Because <laughs> he knows if he didn't, you would say, there's a fucking nose sneaking up on us, look. <laughs> and there was an SAS guy looking after me. He was away down at the edge of the sea, miles away because that's where the polar bears were going to come from. If they were going to come at all, they would come from the sea, and he was down there. He was a dead-eye shot, you know. Paddy, the SAS guy, a very funny and a delightful man. But he used to scare the shit out of me. He, he used to phone me in the middle of the night with those walkie-talkies. Billy, he was an Irishman. He was for the Irish, he was for the Irish guards. Are you, there, are, you, are you there, Bill? Are you there, Billy? Is that you, Paddy? Hi. What is it? And he would go, dee doo dee doodle dee doo 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 dee You bastard! 